welcome to SV Tapatia, the week by week video log of the build of a cruising sailboat. This week we're working on the area under the nav table, putting some storage and some shelves in there. Wonderful. And also putting some LED lights in the fore cabin. These bad boys over here. Let's get to it.
do it, just get it in there and then... More investment, this is amazing. For years I've been using this very cheap and, you know, there's a bit of a theme there, isn't there? Cheap and fairly nasty vacuum cleaner and it drives me nuts because every time I stretch there, that comes out because it's got nothing at all that holds it in there. Um, it's also not wet and dry, it's just wet and wet. No, just dry and dry. But anyway, look at that will now become a shop vac in here where I'll move it around less and hopefully um, that thing or possibly even tape that in position, wouldn't I? That will come in here as a shop vac because a glance around we'll see that we don't do a right lot of vacuuming in here. In fact, that could lead me to a thought. Perhaps like you, you know, I, I look around, I watch various things on YouTube, people's workshops, people doing work, and I'm often astounded by the beauty of some people's workshops and, and you know, everything's pristine, it's completely clean, tools are hung perfectly on racks, you know, it's this, this sort of thing that you get in technical colleges and that sort of thing, beautiful. And, and, you know, to be admired, but, but I don't know how they manage it. Look around this workshop, I have a scan. It's, to the casual eye, it appears pretty chaotic. It's certainly not tidy or clean. Um, far from it. And this is, this is the way I work, I'm afraid, and perhaps you're getting a bad impression of me, but I clean up a couple of times a year or so. No, that's not true. I do, I clean the benches regularly, every week, once a week, every two weeks maybe, but, but the floor and that gets cleaned a couple of times a year, not more. Um, and now and again, I move things around, but, but that's, I don't have time. That sounds like a weak excuse, doesn't it? But I'm working. 
And, and I, I don't want to really stop, unless it's essential, to, to beautify my workshop. And I say I admire people with beautiful workshops, but this is, this is mine. This is how it is. Back to where we are. The Kerka WD3. Wet and dry vacuum cleaner. Let's have a look. What did it cost? 60 something bucks, I think. Well, I don't suppose it's going to be the world's greatest vacuum cleaner. Let's see what we got in here. I have a look in the shop, obviously, and the port it looked an improvement. That will be picked up later. There is bits and parts. Bags, oh, bags. I don't need bags for it. Yes. Not too much plastic, which is pleasing. That's interesting. It's got the broken bits in there, look. Where are they broken from? Just a couple of bits of broken plastic. Interesting. Taking this one back to the shop. What a nuisance. If that involves me driving 15 kilometers. That's all complete. This off of, off of there. I don't want it broken, do I? So, you see that bit that's broken off of there, look. I say, involves me driving 15 kilometers each way, and well, I won't do it in half an hour there and back and change that. Three quarters of an hour of my time wasted. Which is all very well, you know, they, they probably change it without much argument. Probably. It's not quite America here where you can take things back with no problems, but they'll probably change it. But as I say, it's going to involve me driving 30 kilometers. Here I am moaning. 30 kilometers of diesel and three quarters an hour of my time. Good, so there's not much point in me putting that together, is it? I shall pack it back together in the box and um, take it back to the shop. Let's try this again, shall we? Um, Instruction manual. I wonder how much I'm going to read that. Good, 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 good. That's good. Not much plastic packaging, isn't it? It's almost all paper, with the exception of an unnecessary plastic bag. Pretty good. And this one is entire. Accessories in here, which would be nice for doing the front bunk boards and the rollers. Let me get that out of the way for a moment. Proof. One more plastic bag. Very nice. Oh, uh, got a ball valve in there. Very good. That fits on there like that, doesn't it? Pretty good in the boat, that. So tidying up. So I do try to keep the boat quite tight. Good. Now yeah, this has a clip on it, so it actually doesn't just pull out. Great, eh? Can't be brushed. It exactly goes in there, does it? Good. 
read the instructions, Nadine. I've lost the break. <laughs> it's a bit long, Aaron. Oh, I see. That needs pushing. There we go. <laughs> yeah. All right, now. That's got a slot on it. Clearly. Look at that. Ho ho! Amazing. Tools. Is that tool there? Could. Oh no, they can't go in there, can they? Hmm. What do you want all of these bits for? Is it you vacuum in eight meters away or something there? So. <laughs> Who knows? Anyhow, that looks good, doesn't it? We can carry that through to the boat. Oh, look, these probably fit on there, don't they? Cool. Look at this. Amazing. Love the new vacuum cleaner. It's very good. Now the box has arrived though, let's see if this one's in any better condition. Um, from SVB, as you can tell, online boat bits. Should be a couple of LED lights for the fore cabin. They look quite nice. They look quite nice. Look at where the bulb is in that. Why isn't the bulb in the middle, you know? That one's a lot better. I suppose I can realign that, can I? But What's the matter with things these days? It, why? I bought a couple of spare bulbs from. This is, this is what I was going to say about these lights, is that you can get all sorts of LED lights these days. And of course they're brilliant because they draw very, very little power. Um, so for boating, absolutely brilliant. A couple of screws with it, look. Switch, which I wanted to have. Also run on variable voltage. I think it's from eight volts to 28 or something like that. Um, so you don't need a voltage conditioner. Um, you know, they're nice enough light, isn't it? But a lot of LED lights these days don't seem to come or don't seem to be replaceable with the bulbs. The bulbs don't seem to be replaceable, put it that way. So I made sure to pick some that you could replace the bulbs on. I bought two spare bulbs, there's anyway, that one. It's easier to see that. A couple of spare bulbs. Because we live in a throwaway society, don't we? But I don't want to be throwing away an entire light just because the LEDs are gone in it. I want to be able to replace the bulbs. So that was, I say, one of my main criteria, that the light I chose had to have a replaceable bulb. And I guess this one, where the bulb is clearly very off center, I guess I can open that up. Because when you look at the bulbs, there's just a couple of thin metal pins that plug into a socket and those look highly bendable. So I guess I can straighten that up and get it central. Question is though, really, why should I have to? It's a brand new light. Why should I have to go in there and straighten it? I'll try not to moan at you too much.
<laughs> All sorts of excitement in here. Look up there, Kerry. I've installed a new LED floodlight over the bench. So you can actually see what you're doing in the evening. Amazing. But more seriously, when I was, I was wittering on about paintbrushes a couple of weeks ago, um, inspired a few of you to, to comment and whatever, and... Even better than commenting, Till, what a guy, sent me a pack of paintbrushes, the ones that he says, that he gets them on Amazon, very cheap, he says they're great. 12 paintbrushes, varying sizes. Thank you, Till, fantastic. All right, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. If you like these videos, you can leave a thumbs up, a comment below, and subscribe to this channel. Alternatively, you can visit the Patreon page where you can donate as little as one dollar a month to this project. There you'll find additional photos and short videos. Alright, bye! Riches in the sunset, stand at the sea Tell me where you're going so decisively What's your destination? Tell me where you're bound We can move together where adventures abound Running free Before the breeze Are there many Days such as And sunset and Charlie Waters bound, breaking through the tethers that kept you firm aground. Just go and you find out what awaits you there. Don't let worries bind you, don't mean that you don't care.